add the ink. It's a lot easier than a plastic saw to add, as yeah. you can tell. Um, the one thing, I don't, it doesn't matter if you're printing plastic saw or water base, I always recommend, I call it wetting the squeegee. I always recommend getting ink on the back of the squeegee plate. Uh, what that's going to help with is you're not going to be dragging the screen originally. Not originally, but you're not going to be dragging the screen. Because sometimes you'll you'll do that and you'll move everything to register for this screen that pulled down and then you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you go to print and everything's back yeah, the same way. Yeah. That or else if you don't, if you also, if you don't have ink up at the top, it's uh, dragging with no like, uh, you know, if there's, 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 there's no ink, if there's yeah. nothing there and you don't round your squeegee edges, like if you're cutting your own yeah. rubber, yeah, yeah, you'll tear your, you'll tear your mesh. Yeah, for right now. If you're only used to printing floss, so you know that's the reverse. Normally, it will flood print index. The reason that we have it going so it ends in a flood is because we want to keep moisture over the image. If we put ink through, print it, we're going to leave little pieces of moisture and ink inside the open area of the screen. That little area is going to want to dry up much quicker because it doesn't have constant moisture coming down through it. So by flooding it during its indexing stage, it'll keep the moisture on the mesh and through the opening to prevent it from wanting to clog up as quickly. Water base, I do the, you do the exact opposite. You want to make sure you have a thick flood on there. Um, it'll help with ink not drying in your mesh, and um, you don't need to be pushing ink through all the way based on its viscosity. If you guys want to really nerd out, you can watch uh, these masters over here do a quick ink change, scrape out the Yep, keep out, take out the barrier, and they're going to use a bucket of water and a rag, and they're going to clean the screen up, and they're going to go right through the discharge, quickly. I think the initial, like, load of 